Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wanted Bebop and Rocksteady 80s Leonardo. That's right, my friends, this is the final turtle variant in the Playmates Toys Nickelodeon TMNT toy line as we're gearing up for the reboot next year. This Leonardo comes from the final episode that aired on TV for the 2012 Nick series, which was the Wanted Bebop and Rocksteady episode featuring Leonardo in his classic trench coat disguise like we often saw the turtles do in past versions of the series. So really cool blister bubble, features Bebop and Rocksteady at the top, and the back just gives us a cross sell showing the three figures in this final little subline from the Nick Tales of the TMNT toy line. So let's go ahead and get Leonardo opened up and get a closer look at him. All right, 80s Leonardo, here we go, my friends. So essentially what we have here is the same basic Leonardo action figure that we have seen time and time again, but this time he is fitted with a trench coat. Now he does have new arms, or, or he's, he's got trench coat sculpted arms. Uh, so those are, you know, actual sculpts right there on the arms. The rest of the figure is all that same basic figure underneath just a soft plastic trench coat. Now this doesn't appear to be removable. It's definitely fitted over the figure, not really meant to come off unless you disassembled the figure there, but it does give us a version of Leonardo wearing his trench coat. So this of course is going to alter the articulation just a bit on this guy. Still has the same joint at the head there. The arms don't have any articulation in the elbows or anything like that. So they can basically just go outwards, forwards, backwards. You do still have the swivels at the wrists. The legs can still articulate um, and they're the same as before, but the trench coat greatly, greatly hinders that movement there. You do still have the bend at the knees, the swivels at the knees, and also mine has a bit of a defect. Look at this. Uh, the leg just popped right out of socket. And I definitely don't think it's meant to do that. Um, I'm going to have to just push it back in there, I guess. I might have to heat the plastic up a little bit to push it in there because it's not really going back in. But yeah, that thing just popped right out when I tried to articulate it. I thought he was standing a little crooked, so that would explain it. So something to watch for. That's just a weird factory mistake, I think, on mine there. Um, so he does come with a few accessories. Uh, first of all, he does have his trusty katana blades and his little sheath. These again, exactly the same as all we've seen in the past. He's got the little hole in the back of the trench coat there. So if you want to, you can plug the little scabbard onto his back and then you can store his katanas there or you can put the katanas in his hands if he's ready for battle in his trench coat. And of course, you can't have the trench coat without the little fedora hats. This is very similar to what we just saw with the Monster Hunter Leonardo. So you can see it's that lighter tan uh, color to match this current trench coat. It still has a little clip on the bottom that will clip right over the uh, bandana piece on the back, which is nice. So it keeps the hat on his head and it definitely completes the overall look. But to go right along with that, look at that, a little black briefcase. This is a direct nod, I have no doubt, to the vintage undercover Donatello action figure who came with a black briefcase just like this. This one doesn't open up, there's no pizza inside like that vintage one, but it's still a fun little inclusion. Look, he's totally disguised now. Don't mind me, I'm not a Ninja Turtle, I'm just a businessman. Which way to business, everybody? <laughs> So there we go. That is our undercover or our trench coat 80s style Leonardo. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Just for fun, I wanted to stain this guy alongside that vintage undercover Donatello that I just mentioned, just so you can see the two side by side and get a feel for how the new one looks in comparison. So there you go, my friends. There he is, your undercover Leonardo. Honestly, this is a fun variant. I'm kind of shocked we didn't get these variants sooner. There's not a lot new going on here. They just reuse the same sculpt again. But you know what? It would have been really cool if we could have got all four turtles with trench coat disguises. That's something that I'm going to be a little sad that we're probably not going to see in this line. Because unless they sneak something by, this right here is probably going to be the final turtle variant we see released in the 2012 version of the Nick Turtles lineup because next year we're rebooting, we're getting a new cartoon series, which means a new toy line, and we're probably going to be saying goodbye to this style right here. So this, guys, this is a special figure for you. He's going to be the final turtle released in this line. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think of this guy. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any of my TNT toy reviews. Until next time, my friends.